Stars, did you notice anything different about my room? Did I break my no-buy with what's behind me? I'll let you be the judge. I'm going to argue both sides, and you tell me in the comments if I broke it or not. Stay tuned. Does the screen behind me break my no buy rules? Any great attorney, an attorney in training, I'm an attorney in training, I'm not an attorney yet, I'm an attorney in training. Any great attorney can argue both sides of anything. If you have an attorney representing you that cannot argue both sides, find a new attorney. Any great attorney can argue both sides. So on the one hand, does this break my no buy rules? Well, if I was on the side that wanted to argue yes, I would say, Jen has a rule that says that she cannot buy housewares. Jen has a rule that says that she can only buy the replacement items. And Jen has a rule that says it must be an emergency to buy a houseware. Those are the three, three high level rules that Jen has. She has a rule that, to buy no housewares. This is a houseware, it's a decorative item. She can replace things that need to rep be replaced. Well, she didn't have a screen that she was replacing before. It must be an emergency. This isn't an emergency. Nobody needs a decorative screen for filming YouTube videos, right? I, I have a few videos without one. I'm hoping this makes the user experience much nicer. I'll get to that to the other when I talk about the other side. So did she break her no buy rules 14 days in by purchasing this screen? If I was on the side arguing yes, I would say yes, and these are the three things. Now, if I'm on the side saying no, this is what I would say. Well, Jen does have a rule saying she can't buy housewares. She has a rule that she can replace items, and, and yes, we concede that this was not a replacement item. She didn't have a broken screen that she was replacing. She does, however, have a rule for purchasing business items, items to help her business, items to help her work, emergency items. Is this an emergency item? That's what this all comes down to. Maybe. And that's always going to be the legal answer for everything. The answer is always, it depends. So I picked this up off Facebook Marketplace from a guy living in my town. He was just a couple of miles away. He is moving. He is cleaning it out of his house and he is moving. Now, if this didn't get sold, it could have ended up in a, a garbage dump. I don't know if he had a plan to donate things or not, but ultimately everything ends up in the garbage dump. You should check out the story of stuff. I will link it up. I never know which way to point. It'll be on one of the sides. I will link, hopefully I can remember next time which side it is. I will link the story of stuff above. You should watch it because ultimately everything that's made ends up in the garbage dump. So was it an emergency? Hmm, maybe. Jen is trying to increase her subscribers on her YouTube channel and having a pretty backdrop is something that seems to entice people and so she's investing in her channel. Now she did follow her rule that she cannot buy things from non-sustainable companies and this is a secondhand item. This is well loved and well used. There are portions of it that I, that, yeah, I, Jen, I'm talking myself in the third person, but um, I'm going to try to patch up and fix up. And also to help promote her mission on YouTube and her mission in life, this backdrop, do you see it? Do you see the subliminal message? Can you see it from there? Maybe I need to get closer. can't get it in the frame. It says, be the change you wish to see in this world by Gandhi. And that is, that is my mission. I am working to be the change that I want to see. Now that I move the camera, can I get it back in the right position? I do not plan on stopping all my no-buy rules just because this happened. 
I love this. I love this screen. I hope you're enjoying looking at it too. It's quite beautiful. I'm not, I have weird lighting in my little room and so I will be working on fixing the lighting so that this looks nice and I look nice with my editorial look. I learned that that phrase from, if you've watched any of my videos, you would know Hannah Louise Poston, one of my favorite people on YouTube. So did I break my no by ear? Now the reason why I was on Facebook looking for something, I was looking for a teapot. I killed our teapot by trying to clean it and we can't use it. Can we, can we cannot use it, it's gonna impact our health. And so we need to replace the teapot. And I was using Facebook Marketplace to try to find someone in my area that's getting rid of a teapot that matches my kitchen. I'm kind of particular. I was looking for a green teapot, but actually I found one that's white, but it has leaves and ivy and different things on it that I think will match our kitchen decor pretty well. And it's new. Uh, she's never used it and it was it's six dollars and so I look forward to meeting up with her tomorrow and picking up the teapot because that we ride or die by our teapot. We are we use instant coffee which is nearly undrinkable by itself. I have been using my brew coffee maker which I, I don't like using it takes too long. I can't figure out how to make a good cup of coffee out of there and I've been using this instant coffee in that pot for the past two days and it is utterly undrinkable when I put it through the coffee pot. I can see myself and I'm being distracted by myself. So we, we need a new teapot. We ride or die by our teapot. We're getting a new teapot. I ruined my, my beautiful apple green one by trying to clean it. So we are on well and septic here in our house and our well taps into an underground river coming from Lake Superior that's all been tested. It's very high mineral concentration, high iron content, and we have a reverse osmosis system for our drinking water, which makes it taste very nice, but it does not clean out all the minerals, and so that clogged up our coffee pot. I tried using CLR to clean, well, tea, it's a tea kettle, but we call it a coffee pot. I use CLR to try to clean out the, the sediment Mm -mm. It, it didn't eat all the sediment away and now we're using it after I cleaned it even though I cleaned and cleaned and cleaned it trying to remove the CLR. It is now, it is brown, dirty, reddish, yucky water that we can't, it has a metallic -y taste. I'm sure we're drinking CLR too which isn't healthy so we are working to replace our teapot because I destroyed our old one by trying to clean it. So this is a quick update on how my no buy year is going 14 days in. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Did I break the rules or not? Which is the stronger argument? I had rules saying I couldn't buy anything for housewares. This is a decorative item and it's not a replacement item. But on the other hand, it is for a an adventure, a business adventure, my YouTube adventure, and it has my saying on it. By Gandhi. Well, it's not my saying, it's Gandhi's saying. It has Gandhi's saying on it that I'm trying to live. Tell me, did I break it? As you live the dream this week, I hope that you be the change that you want to be and rock on. <laughs>